So in my never ending quest to get wireless FTP from the field, I've tried everything. We started out with routers, which were great when you had an ethernet connection, but you were limited by where you could be to, to access them. Also I've done hotspots, uh, which usually work well, but again, when the cellular network's overwhelmed, you can't send photos out from the field. Recently, we've been doing these travel routers, and they've actually been a really good solution. But again, you're limited to the wireless infrastructure of the stadium. And there are some stadiums that have been really tough to send photos out of. I need a solution that's always gonna work. One where I'm not dependent upon the stadium's infrastructure or the cellular network to provide connectivity. So, that's where we're gonna try out a Starlink Mini and see if that works. The Starlink Mini is a satellite dish, and it's meant for people that are camping or on the go uh, to give them internet connectivity. But I wonder if at a football stadium, the Starlink Mini could overcome all the challenges you face when it comes to connectivity with the digital noise that bounces around the stadium and the overloading of the wireless and the cellular networks. So we're gonna dive in and see if this works at a, in a real life situation. Welcome to Y Mountain. We wanted to find a location that was kind of remote, but still close to campus. So that's campus over my shoulder. Uh, I've got the Starlink set up. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in the phone. Okay, we're showing online. Um, there's our statistics, but let's do a speed test. See what kind of rates we're getting. All right, here we go. All right, so 140, 150 megabits per second up. And, sorry, down. 150 megabits per second upload. And it looks like about 34, 35 megabits per second download, which, okay. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll take those speeds uh, any day of the week. But the real test, can we FTP? an image, so let me just turn around and take a picture real quick. Okay. So now the key here is to see how long this takes to send a JPEG of campus. And it's one 1002. Okay, didn't even get to two seconds. Uh, so when I'm testing cameras, what I like to do is actually like to switch to raw because it gives me more time to kind of see the difference between different settings. I don't ever recommend trying to FTP raw from a game situation or anything like that. This is only for testing purposes. So I'm just going to switch into my camera. So I'm not, now I'm just going to send a raw file. Uh, so and this is an R1, so it's pretty chunky. Let's see how long it takes to send just that raw file. Here we go. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Oh. Okay, uh, sending a raw file in three seconds, that'll do, that'll do. So let me just do a comparison. I've got my Verizon hotspot with many cracks in it. Let's just go ahead and switch to that. I wanna see how long it takes to, to do the same thing with just a hotspot. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, eight, 1,000, nine, 1,000, 10, 1,000. 12, 1, 11, 1,000, sorry, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 15, 1,000, 16, 1,000, 17, 1,000. So like 17 to 18 seconds versus three seconds. So you can see why the Starlink would be a really nice option to have at a football game. Now again, at a football game, I'm never gonna send a raw file, but that means I'm sending JPEGs in one to two seconds, which, is not, not, not normal, it's not usual, and it's highly desirable, it's something I really wanted to try out. So, huh, that's really interesting. I am intrigued to try this out at a real game. So, the great thing about these Starlink Minis is they actually have a router built into the system. So, I don't need to use my travel router, or my personal router, um, I can just go right off the router. But I also could plug in ethernet, I wanna see if there's a difference in the speed of sending an ethernet. Oh. I wanna see if there's a, come on now. Big finger syndrome. Uh. <laughs> no, I've, I've got it. There's an ethernet port here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in real quick. 
Real interested to see if this is any faster going just with an ethernet cable. Good thing I brought the world's biggest table to this photo shoot today. So I've established a direct connection with the ethernet cable to the Starlink Mini. This should be very fast. So here we go. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Now that's actually surprising. It took longer to do with the ethernet cable. So let me try it again, just to make sure. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. That's very weird that it takes longer with the ethernet cable to send. So I'm wondering, I need to go and see if I can figure out what's causing that to happen. Um, so I will take the ethernet cable with me and test it when I'm in a, in a game, but I'm gonna just try to go off of the router and off the Wi-Fi to the router and see how that goes. Now, with all the signals that are bouncing around in a football stadium, ethernet probably is gonna be a safer solution. So we'll probably have to test both of those and see which one works better in an actual game situation. Some real intriguing results out here. Really excited to see that it actually does work. You can FTP photos through a Starlink router. Now that's great and all for me sitting on the side of a mountain, right? How will it actually function at a football game where there's all these other signals bouncing around? Can the Starlink isolate me from the rest of those problems so that I have a clean, clear, direct connection to the internet? So BYU football's regular season is over. Um, it's December, there's snow on the mountains. Where would I try this out at? Wait a second. How about the Pop-Tarts Bowl? Music's always blasting and I've just set the Starlink down here on top of my bag. And uh, we're online. Let's do a speed test. Getting pretty good results, 45 megabits per second on download. Let's see upload. 30, 26 to 30. Let's see what the average is, probably a little mid 20s. Twenty. Okay, so it's working. Um, so for the first, the whole goal here is is I want to make sure that this is workable solution I can do during a football game. So first of all, I'm just going to set my bag here. My son Nick here, here is recording me. He's just going to hang with the bag, and I'm going to start shooting and start sending. Okay, so here's the very first picture of uh, the pylon. One, one thousand, two, and oh, less than two seconds. Game on. The branding of this bowl is unbelievable. Such a good job. So I've been doing some tests and I've had my bag just sitting over there from about 20 feet away. I've been able to send photos, no problem. Of course, the stadium's still empty, not a lot of people here, but I've just attached some Velcro to my bag so I can kind of keep it with me. I want to see if I can just keep the bag mobile and keep moving and still send. Let's see. Now, you notice that it's not even pointed up right now and I'm still sending photos uh, just fine. So that's, that's pretty cool. I do need to find a better system though. This is not gonna work for uh, every game to game situation. Okay, now the, the dish is on its side. It's been long enough, it's not sending. So I'm just gonna set it flat for a minute. See how long it takes. Oh, pulled the battery. Let's show this. Oh, yanked the battery out, that's why. Let's fix that. Just gonna give some more slack on the battery cable. Is 
confessing? Just need something that keeps it kind of a little bit flatter. Some structure underneath or a different bag. And for most of the game, I'm just gonna be sitting in the end zone anyway, so this should be just pretty easy to work with. All right, here we go, second down and five. Big play. And looky there. All right, so that was the first drive. Uh, we got stopped on the goal line, but in the first quarter, that's why I've had most of the problems in sending photos. No problem, two seconds I'm sending. I just have the bag sitting back behind me on the ground, and it's, it's so far it's working great. I'm super excited to see how it goes for the whole game. Okay, so far everything's been going really good. There's only been one hiccup. Uh, we had that touchdown that happened in the, on the other side, and I went to send, and the battery had died. The Starlink chews up a lot of battery, so that's something I'm gonna have to get a big, bigger battery that can actually last a whole game. That one lasted about hour and a half, hour 45. So I've got three of those batteries, I should be okay, but it is definitely chewing a lot more ju uh, juice than I thought. Um, but yeah, so far I've been really happy. Nate's on the other side of the field with his hotspot, has been having a really hard time sending. So this is promising. Uh, but now let's just worry, let's just focus on shooting the game and transmitting and, and we'll talk at the end. So Tanavasa blocked it. One, two, three, four, four seconds. So hey, that's the whole thing. That's what we're after right here. Very happy with my little Starlink. So come with me. This is the only reason I came. My mascot, Pop-Tart. Tastes good. I went all the way to Florida and all I came back with were emotional support Pop-Tarts. And a lot of great memories. I will say this, the Pop-Tart Bowl is a blast. If you ever get invited to go to the Pop-Tart Bowl, you should go. Um, they just know how to market uh, better than anybody I've ever seen. The Pop-Tarts were hilarious. They did step in front of the camera a lot and that was kind of part of the fun. Um, but here's a couple pictures showing them uh, their antics. But anyway, had a great experience in Florida. But the real question is, you want to know, did it work? Well, it worked great. I'm really pleased with how the, the Starlink functioned in an actual game environment. Now, I'm going to compare my experience to Nate's. Nate's was there with a, a hotspot and a router and what we normally do at football games. And he had so many problems sending photos out, especially in the first quarter, uh, which has, again, been our experience in many of these road games. The first quarter, for some reason, all of the Wi-Fi networks and the cellular networks, they're overloaded. And we have that gap of time where we're not able to send photos out. The whole point of the Starlink test was to get past that. And it worked. I think I looked through all my photos and I had two or three that didn't send completely through. And I think those were more from when I was too far away from the router than any other interference. because. I had a consistent connection throughout the entire game. There was one instance in which I could not send photos out, and it was when Chase Roberts scored a touchdown, I went to send the photo and it wouldn't send. And I thought, oh no, I, I lost connection. But what I lost was the battery. Uh, the one thing that these Starlinks require is a lot of power. And you do need a battery that is capable of a 100 watt output through USB-C. And I went through two and a half of these during the entire game. 
So I probably got to upgrade my battery solution and get something that's a little more reliable to go during the game and maybe something that even will beep or give me a warning that it's about to die because that's what happened when I tried to send that photo out. But I was really impressed even with the obstructions. I had people and honestly I had Pop-Tarts standing behind me for a lot of a quarter and it still sent photos out just fine. It may have slowed, down, slowed it down just a tiny bit, but for almost the entire game, I was able to send a photo out in 1.5 to about four or five seconds. For the most part, I'd say the average is about two and a half seconds, which is awesome, especially the fact that I didn't have any downtime. The only other complaint I have about the Starlink is the size. I know this is the Mini, and it's small, it's much smaller than the original, but if I had one that was maybe even just half the size, that would be amazing because it was difficult to kind of walk around with this. If you have a better solution than I had, let me know in the comments because um, I just had it sitting flat on a bag and I know that there's some backpacks out there you can actually articulate and carry the, in a backpack or there's some other solution that I haven't, I haven't figured out yet. Now, Starlink is planning on coming out with smaller versions in the future and I think I'm thinking that that might be a really great solution for photographers as we, we are moving forward. And in fact, more and more we're seeing cell phones that are actually capable of satellite communication. So I think that the future is bright for those of us that work in these type, type of environments and still need to be able to reliably send photos out. I'm really excited to see what will come next. So the real question is, is using a Starlink actually practical in a football game? And I guess that depends on your situation. The Starlink cost of $225, it was on sale. And there's a plan for $50 a month where you get 50 gigabytes, which is quite a bit if you're just especially just using it for this. Now, I think that's totally reasonable pricing because that's essentially what a hotspot would cost you. I've talked to dozens of photographers who have asked me for advice. They work in stadiums that have really bad connection issues. And whether it's cellular or Wi-Fi, they have not been able to send out photos during a game. And they always ask me the same question, what more can I do? Well, this might be the solution for them. So there's actually a standby mode that you can put the Starlink into so you're not paying the $50 a month in the off season. And actually in standby mode, you can still send photos. The rate is much slower. It's like half a megabit for, per second or something like that. But for FTP and photos, it's probably enough. And I'm gonna dive into that and see if that works. The one place where this will not work obviously is a domed arena. You need, you need a view of the sky. And if you have that, it should work just fine. So check it out. So what does that all mean? I thought this was kind of a crazy solution that might work, and now I'm convinced it works just fine. I'm actually really excited to see what the future brings for the Starlink in our, in our workflow. Um, in fact, next year I'm planning on taking it with me on all the games and have it be available to help me FTP photos out from the stadium. So go ahead and try it out. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the sidelines.